We ought to always give thanks to God for you, brothers beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Not wrath, but escape. Not punishment, but deliverance. Not destruction, but loving kindness through our love, Lord. I follow him and I can't get up. I can't, not by myself. I need redemption. I need salvation. My hard cry to God is that I never take lightly what Jesus and Nazareth did for me. I've escaped the wrath to come to him, and I cling to him. I hide him like a cleft. Because like the eagle says, woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth and the judgments that are about to come. I challenge each one of you, get yourself ready, get clean, sanctify yourself, get your mind right, clean up what you're doing, get clear. Well, I remember when Beth and I came to the Lord, we got rid of all kinds of stuff. We had been living life in one direction, and metanoia meant that we needed to go a different direction. We did, we cleaned out everything. I think every now and then you need to be reminded that you are escaping something and you need to really run for your life. Let's just make this clear. You need to get yourself ready so you count it worthy through the blood of Jesus to escape the things that are about to come upon the earth and on those who don't know the Lord. Our Lord Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. prospect of our God judging the earth for its rebellion and sin should produce fear and awe in us. Let our attitude be one of gratefulness and humility as we realize what our Lord Jesus did for us in conquering the powers that held us with the bond for dying in our stead, bearing the, our punishment in his death on the tree just to prove the Father's love. Let us do prepare ourselves and everyone we can in prayer and witness for the great day of accounting to come. The judgments of God are about to fall upon the world, and who can stand apart from God's mercy? Get ready, friends, for soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. May God give you the grace, help you personally, the grace to prepare the way of the Lord in your own life, so that we can escape the judgments that are to come.